a smile? <laughs> there it is. I see here is Michael. Say hi, everybody. Where's that smile? Where is it? Where'd it go? Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> everybody hi <laughs> look at how cute you are Oops, I gotta fix your ball hi everybody <laughs> say hello we want to tell you about my name about my name yo and it's not Snoop <laughs> Hi, peeps. Alexia May from Names Daily. And as promised, I'm finally um, going to be doing this little video here talking about how Reagan got her name. She's almost only three months old. And I'm still getting to it now. But apparently, um, when you first have a baby, all those aspirations that you have, all the things that you're going to do, Unless you're super amazing, it doesn't happen. And guess who's not super amazing? This chick. Hey, hi everybody. So, um, for those of you who um, have been on Names Daily for a while on my Instagram, or who know me, when you heard that her name was Reagan Wilson, you probably were super surprised because it was kind of known for a while that if I ever were to have a little girl that her name would be Sally. <laughs> so just so you know, I was as surprised that she's not Sally as you are. <laughs> so this little gal is actually my second baby. My first is a little guy and his name is Judah David. And when I was pregnant with Judah, if he were to be a girl, his name would have been Penelope Ruth, which we really liked that name. I don't think that we were my husband and I were either like 100% on it, but it was the name that we could agree on at the time. But we both fell in love with the name Judah. So I really liked Judah Landon, but Joe really liked uh, Judah David because it's okay, I know. Uh, his dad's name is David. And so how could I argue the fact that Joe wanted to do something for his dad? So, um, with Reagan, by the time I got pregnant for Reagan, I had already gotten past Penelope and I was pretty darn set on Sally because Sally was my grandmother's name. She actually was Polish and her name was Salome, but everybody called her Sally. For those who didn't call her grandma, they called her Sally. And um, so it just had a super special meaning to me. And between the five years of having, well probably four and a half years, between having Judah and getting pregnant the second time, I had just fallen head over heels for the name Sally. Like I just was convinced that I was gonna have a little girl named Sally. And when Joe and I would be in the store, if I would see something for a little baby girl, I'd be like, oh, won't that, wouldn't that be so cute for Sally? Like I would be calling her that. And Joe would be like, we're not naming her Sally because he just didn't like the name at all because obviously he didn't have any emotional ties to it like I did but I'm like come on dude like I love this name and it's super special to me and so I would be like trying to work behind the scenes like subliminal messaging of seeing if I could convince him over time so lo and behold we got pregnant and I was like we just kind of knew what we were having a girl and so I'm like, here comes Sally, and Joe's like, she's not gonna be Sally, and I'm like, yes she is. And um, I could never find a name, a middle name that went with Salome. Um, it, Salome is like the perfect middle name, like Blythe Salome, but Salome Blythe, it just is a hard name to find a middle name for. I feel like you're never gonna find a really great flow, like it, it will be, a compromise so I um, came up with the name Sally 
Maywin because it has a Salome sound, but um, it just sound flowed better. Now I love Ireland and all things Irish, so I loved how Maywin was the um, name of St. Patrick. Even though Maywin is a Welsh name, it means devoted friend. And uh, I just was like, Sally Maywin is just the most perfectest name ever. And we're so using it. And Joe just could not get on board with it. And I was like slowly getting more and more devastated at the realization that I probably wasn't going to have a little girl named Sally. And that was like kind of a hard pill to swallow. So when we found out that we were, were having a girl for sure, she's so sleepy. <laughs> My little honey bunny. Um, if she wasn't so sleepy, she would see how smiling she really is. She's such a happy girl. She's such a happy girl. Um, so when we found out that we were for sure having a girl, I was like, so it's going to be Sally, right? And he was like, no, it's, it's not going to be Sally. And I like, <laughs> I knew that if I had oppressed super hard, that he would have said, fine, if that name is that important to you, then we'll go with it. But I, I knew that he would never like it. There's just no way he would ever like it. It would be a total compromise for him. And that's not fair because... I wouldn't want that the other way around. Like he loves names like Amber and Sequoia and Tacoma and they're not terrible names, they're just not my cup of tea. And there's no way she would be called Tacoma. So how could I say no to Tacoma but yes to Sally just because I liked it. So <laughs> I know this sounds so dumb you guys, but I had to go through a time of mourning. <laughs> when I realized that her name wasn't gonna be Sally Maywin. Like that was hard. And I had to go through a mourning process. And during that time, I kind of realized that obviously it just wasn't meant to be for her or it would have clicked with Joe. And I firmly believe that. Um, but so Sally obviously is super important to me and I had to realize that maybe because it's the memory of my grandmother that that was just meant for me for inside of my heart and that I was to carry that weight but that it wasn't meant for this baby <laughs> a little emotional about it <laughs> and um <clears throat> so I had to get to this place of just being okay with it and then once I got past that I got excited to think, okay, she's not meant to be a Sally. Who is she meant to be? And I tend to love vintage names or word names. Um, and Joe doesn't. <laughs> so what we just couldn't, we just couldn't come up with um, names we agreed on for anything. So one day we were just sitting in the car and trying to talk names with a guy is kind of like going nowhere fast <laughs> if any of you have done that before I'm sure you've noticed this so I would I would try to not talk names to death with him but I'm like okay it's getting down to the wire we need to you know come up with a name for this chick and all of a sudden the name Reagan popped into my head and literally, as soon as it came into my head, I kind of turned in my seat and I said, what do you think about the name Reagan? And he go, he went, I really like that. And he said, how about Reagan Wilson? And I said, for a boy or a girl? And he said, for a girl. And it was like in that moment, like she just kind of <laughs> named herself. And I know she didn't name herself, but you know what I mean? Like I was laughing that I feel like the namer didn't even get to name her own kid. <laughs> because I've always liked the name Reagan very, very much, but I never took it seriously. Like I never wrote it down on any of my lists, my favorite lists over the years, but I've always liked it. I just never took it seriously. So the fact that kind of like came into my head, I don't know where it came from exactly, except maybe from the heavens above. And uh, Wilson is my maiden name. And if 
she were a boy, we had considered strongly Silas Wilson. Um, since Joe got to honor his side of the family, I wanted to honor my side of the family. And, like, Wilson is such a cool middle name, I'm sorry. And the W initial is cool. And, um, so I think it was neat that Joe came up with the middle name all on his own. Because if I had said that, I don't know if he would have liked it right away. He'd be like, you namers and your crazy names. No. So I just think it was really neat. And uh, I was as surprised at her name as probably everybody else was. Now with Judah, I feel like in a lot of ways I didn't get to name either of my children in like the traditional way. Because when I was 16, uh, I'll never forget it, I was standing in the middle of my dad's barn and I was putting water in a bucket and I heard the name Judah. And it was like I'd heard it for the very first time. I know I had, but it was like I did. And I instantly, I just knew that one day I was gonna have a little boy named Judah. I, I just knew it. And um, when Joe and I first got married, I mentioned that to him and he, he said the same thing. He was like, whoa, um, that's, that's gonna be our son's name one day. Now my husband's name is Josiah, which back in the day, it wasn't very popular at all. And, but it was one of those names that you heard it and it was familiar you knew how to spell it, you knew how to say it, and people would go, oh wow, that's unique. Um, and we wanted the same thing for our son, and Judah perfectly matched that. Josiah is super popular today, but Judah's not. It is getting popular, but five years ago it wasn't. Ten years ago, now actually when I first got married, I did not get married ten years ago. So anyway, <laughs> um, so I kind of feel like, and then of course Judah, uh, Joe came up with David. So I feel, which I think is really neat, I feel like I actually didn't get to name either of my children exactly. I feel like the names just showed up and I instantly loved them. It's hard to explain, but I think it's really neat that the namer didn't really get to name her children. <laughs> And this isn't a reason that she was named Reagan, but I love how there's a tie. Um, when Judah was, right before he was born, my dad showed me this music video of this guy named Will Reagan. And literally, his music ch uh, changed my life. And one of like the strongest memories I have of when Judah was first born is he was a very fussy baby. And it was in the middle of the night and Joe would just walk Judah up and down the floor and he would sing Will Reagan's song, In the Quiet, In the Quiet, I Know You Are There. And it was just so beautiful. And ever since then, like, we just can't get enough of Will Reagan and United Pursuit. So I like how there's like that tie into Reagan's name and the musical tie. And of course, Judah David is a very musical name. So I love that. I mean, come on, guys. <laughs> Isn't she just the cutest little thing? <laughs> She's so cute. Look at her pics. Her pics are so cute. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I moved you and you were snuggling. I moved you and you were snuggling. <laughs> She is such a little sweetheart. Uh, she is so smiley. She um, she was born at home in my shower. <laughs> and from the moment she was born, her eyes are wide open looking at me. And she hasn't stopped smiling at me since, which my heart is just exploded. And uh, I'm so happy that she's here. And she is such a Reagan. <laughs> so thank you all so much for you who have followed me on my um, journey. It was exciting to have a pregnancy that I could share with you on Instagram because last time Instagram was a little too early. And uh, last time I didn't even have names daily. So this has been a super neat process and I'm so excited to be able to share Reagan's name story and document this even for myself and cry 
in a couple months when I see how small she was. <laughs> but she's not quite three months old yet. She'll be three months on October 6th. So she's still, she's still a cute little gal. <laughs> so thanks so much guys. Love you and I'll talk to you later.